Hello, comrades! Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. My name, of course, is Open Potato. Of course, of course, of course, of course, we're starting the episode off looking at Palace of Soviet. And uh, can I just say, the progress that we're making is, is frankly immense. It really, really, really is very, very good. Uh, in order to finish the current phase of construction, we just need another 600 tons of prefab panels, 600 tons of steel, 730 tons of bricks, 200 tons of boards, and crucially, very, very crucially, 304 tons of electronic components. Now, electronic components represent probably the probably the material that is most difficult to acquire, and it really is pretty essential. We don't need it in huge quantities uh, for the palace, but we do need it in large enough quantities that it is of, uh, of significant note, and therefore uh, of significant focus, I would, uh, I would say. Uh, thank you to everyone who was reversing the polarity in the comments of the last video. Very much appreciated. Uh, also, large number of people suggesting that I try and build a one-way road into the building and then a one-way road out of the building. Yeah, I, I tried that. It, 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 didn't, it didn't really work. Anyway, what are we going to be doing over the course of this episode? Well, the first thing, the first thing that we need to do, as ever, is, uh, is, to, try, is, to, try and fix, is to try and fix our supply of the most weak resource. And it turns out that the most weak resource that we currently have is electronic components. So that's what we're going to try and do in the first instance. I tried to fiddle around with this at the start of the... Not the start of the last episode, the end of the last episode. However, 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 that hasn't fully filtered through yet, and I'm hoping that it's going to filter through quite soon. So, what do we need for electronic components? Well, it's mostly just plastics and chemicals that, that, are, uh, that are in short supply. And the reason why they're in short supply, for the most part, is because they're just not being delivered regularly enough... Uh, to the brand new, I say brand new, it's not brand new, uh, to the to the electronic processing area. Are these two boats? These are two boats. That's not, that's not good. Right? That's, that's not good. Just, just so everyone absolutely knows that's, that's not good. Uh, right, so what have we done to rectify this? Well, in the last episode, we turned off the automatic export from this warehouse, so Kobe Warehouse is no longer going to export any resources. I'm also hoping, now that we've got this brand new area up and running, University is coming along eh, reasonably well. It's going to take a little while. The, uh, the concrete, the asphalt is going to take a while to transport over from Mini Constructo, but that doesn't particularly matter. Um, what we need to do, what we need to do is we need to increase our chemical production. And frankly, the way that we need to increase our chemical production is by increasing our crop production, because frankly, we don't have any crops at the moment, and it is uh, a big concern to me. Uh, we're getting a fair number of crops from this greenhouse, although it works with uh, 13 or up to 13 tons per day. And each of these huge chemical plants actually uses 12 tons per day. So we need, at minimum, at absolutely minimum, another big old greenhouse. So why don't we start with that, just to make sure that we don't do, don't do the rubles. Don't do the ruble thing. Don't, don't, don't terraform with rubles. It's never a good idea. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we'll see if we can try and get a secondary greenhouse down. And I'm kind of hoping that, again, we can draw on our brand new, our brand new city for a whole bunch of workers. That's kind of what I'm banking on. Right, so where do we want to, where do we want to make it? I, I don't really need to get rid of this little, little mound of, uh, little mound of mud over there. So that's fine. All right, let's see what we can do. So we want to go into factories. We want to go into greenhouse. We want greenhouse mid, I believe. This is the, the larger of the greenhouse varieties, and we've already got one. Now, 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 now. This presents somewhat of a problem. So first of all, let's get the land flattened out. There we go. Can't build on water. Where the heck is the water? Is there any water anywhere here? I really didn't think that there was, but that's okay. Just get it all flattened out and we'll we'll deal with that water later, so to speak. Shouldn't be too challenging. This is honestly like uh, you know, like an old CRT monitor where it goes line by line in order to in order to render out the picture. That's what's happening. That's what's happening right now. We're seeing very, very slow, very, very slow uh, terrain modification. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can get a road connected up over here. We'll get this bada bim, bada boom. Nice and simple. Now, the very challenging, the very challenging aspect of this, which I have kind of left out, is the fact that the aggregate storage over here 
huh, is having is having supply issues. Turns out we actually need a heck of a lot more coal than originally anticipated. Hmm, that is a problem because we don't have we don't even have that much coal. We don't even have that much coal anyway. We've got a couple of dumpers which are which are doing the the supply route, and it looks like you're just making your way back. Now, these dumpers are actually hooked into, I think it's this distribution office over here. Yeah, it's this distribution office right over here. And they frankly are not doing anywhere near enough. They really are not. Also, what the heck is this? What the heckity heck is this? This is a real messy situation here. Uh, primarily because we've got too much gravel. I don't even understand how this happened. All right, well, let's hopefully get this fixed. Chain signal in there. That should fix things. All right. That's fine. Have we cured our backlog? No, not yet. Not yet. We're working on it, though. This is a temporary setback. This doesn't usually happen. It's, it's the, the the train network is getting performance anxiety. It's it's not not great, not great at all. Right, that in there, that in there. Okay, will you now work, video game? I think you will indeed now work. Excellent, 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 excellent. There's a lot of gravel trains that need to be getting in here anyway, and we've got uh, yeah, we've got uh, enough gravel to survive, but not quite enough to be happy. Either way, that should all rectify itself right now, which is excellent. Okay, so here's the problem. Here's the problem. We need to get we need to get coal across to the other side of the map in order to supply well, this aggregate storage, but also what I imagine will be another aggregate storage which we are going to have to build right around here. Let's in fact, let's zone it right now just to see if it's what we're gonna do. I think it is what we're gonna do. The more I the more I think about it, the more I'm convinced that this is what we're gonna do. However, I'm gonna demolish this wire, and I'm definitely not gonna forget to put it back. Definitely not gonna forget to put it back. See, I'm gonna do it right now, in front of your very eyes. There we go. Okay, build it. Anyway, this is very important that we get this done, because I kind of have, in my mind, an idea about how we're gonna make this work. Okay, get that all get that all zoned. We're gonna build this in just a sec. Build that, sure. Build that. All right. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we've got a, a an aggregate storage over here already, which holds gravel. You know, it's not not really surprising. However, we've also got another output over here. Now, if I was to stick down a truck aggregate, no, not a truck aggregate. Yes, a large aggregate unloading, no, sorry, a large aggregate storage, and then connected to that was going to be a truck aggregate loading, like so, then that would allow us to bring in coal via boat. That's right. However, it needs to be refined coal, and finding spare refined coal is, is actually a little bit of a problem. Uh, frankly, it is a little bit of a problem because where the heck are we going to get our refined coal from? Right, are we moving chemicals back across? We are indeed moving chemicals back across the the ocean. So that's great. That's really, really good. And that's going to help out a heck of a lot with our chemical shortage and our plastic shortage as well. So that goes some of the way to sorting that. However, 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 how the heck are we going to get refined... How the heck are we going to get refined coal over to the other side of the... Over to the other side of the world? I have... Absolutely no idea. Have we got enough refined coal? We've got enough refined coal coming in here. Do we have a refined coal pickup point? We don't really have a refined coal pickup point. That's coal ore over there. Actually, tell a total lie. Tell a total lie. We do have. We do have uh, an aggregate loading. Right. I think there's a way of doing this. I think there's a way of doing this that isn't totally terrible. Yeah, I think there is a way of doing this that isn't totally, totally terrible. It's going to require a little bit of maneuvering over here, I think. Right. Let's see if I can get a small aggregate storage in here. Maybe, 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 maybe. I think this is actually going to work. You know what? Shockingly, I think this is going to work. Okay, what we need to do, we need to ditch this. Take this road right the way back. Then we need to stick in a, well, 
a small aggregate storage at minimum, but a large aggregate storage would be better. But frankly, we're not going to be able to stick a large aggregate storage in here, are we? So a small aggregate storage, it will have to be. And because of the wonders of this brand new update, I'm allowed to see exactly where exactly where the conveyors are going to get connected to, which is pretty exceptional, actually. Makes my job a heck of a lot easier. Now, can I do this? Can I do this in one fell swoop? I can. It's not going to be connected to the fire network, though. By fire network, I mean, of course, the road network. And that presents somewhat of a problem. This aggregate storage is, is kind of the most... The most irritating configuration that we really could have. Because it needs to... It needs to face another direction. I mean, it would be great if it faced another direction, frankly, but it's not going to. Do I want to remove... Do I want to remove this aggregate storage? I don't think I really want to remove the gravel aggregate storage. Although, we're probably done with it. We're probably done with it, to be fair. Probably done with it. Do we have any modified... Uh, do we have any modified storages? I mean, just anything really would be would be great. Like a really, really, a really, really small aggregate storage, maybe. Waterfront store, small open store. No, small waterfront, small aggregate store. I mean, this needs to be on the waterfront, unfortunately. Small open store. No, we don't. We don't have. We don't have anything. The barn will only store other resources. Mm. That's a bit of a bummer. That's a bit of a bummer because a small aggregate storage would be, or a different small aggregate storage right now would be super duper handy. However, I guess we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to make this work. Yeah. Okay. Right. So. Try that in there. Try that in there. I'm kind of hoping... I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to be able to get a road under here. I know this is just... This is totally wishful thinking, isn't it? It, it really is. What about a road under here? Nope. No road under anywhere. Right. Well, that that's not the end of the world. That's not the end of the world. We'll ditch that. We'll see if we can try and get a modified conveyor pipe engine thing in here. That actually looked shockingly for a second like it was going to work. Huh? That was... I mean... I mean, that, that actually... That actually didn't look like a million miles away from... Working? Okay, this is... This has re-bolstered my... My enthusiasm. That looks good. That looks real good. Okay, that's great, because that means... Yeah, oh my goodness, it actually works. Oh my god, mods to the rescue. Thank you very, very much, video game. That is phenomenal. Okay, so that is, that is, that is literally everything connected up, as it totally should be. Uh, so, the thing is, is that we're going to be using our, you know, same aggregate unloading, and we're going to hopefully run across a couple more resources to this area using uh, depots and offices and distribution centers etc you get the picture it's going to be a fairly simple setup it's not going to be it's not going to be over overly uh, overly complex we're going to need to buy a couple of boats to do bespoke to do bespoke coal runs but uh, but yeah it's going to be it's going to be a fairly simple a fairly simple affair over here right i haven't actually built the greenhouse yet i haven't committed to building it quite yet but that's just because it's you know pretty darn expensive at 1.2 million rubles not like I don't have the money, just, you know, somewhat apprehensive about building a super expensive building. And I'd rather have all of the sort of dominoes lined up before before we go for it, right? So is that... that's been built. Excellent. Right. So... So, 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 so. Ah! Oh, yes. One more, one more final road that we didn't connect up. But I think we still can? He says... Oh no. Have we have we managed to get this far? We've come so far, but in the end it doesn't even matter. Is that what you're telling me now, video game? I mean it's flashing it's flashing green. 
And it also says there's a building in the way over here. What is the area of this? Okay, that's really weird. What? Okay, I mean... Kind of shocked that that even kind of works. Oh, it just needs to be like a millimeter longer. Oh, really? I mean, we're searching for this perfect route. I don't, I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, that's such a bummer. That's such a bummer. Do I want to try and reposition this thingamabobber? I think I want to try and reposition the, the small aggregate storage just because, right? Just because we are like super late game and I know, I know, and you know exactly how much exactly how much damage fires can do and the fact of the matter is is that I seem to be getting a, a brand new fire every 15 seconds uh, frankly which is kind of kind of an accurate representation of of exactly where I am right now right I mean that that is good that is definitely good that is definitely enough space to do a little bit of maneuvering here yeah absolutely perfect now is it gonna be enough to get a thingy down the side there no that's that's totally fine that's totally, totally fine. Uh, what we can do, maybe, if that's the case. I'd rather not faff around with this connection right here. So I'm going to maybe see if we can get a bridge. Maybe a bridge is, is also somewhat of a... Somewhat of a wishful thinking endeavor? No? How is that... Excuse me. Elevation video game? Come on. Do we understand elevation? Can we understand elevation together? It's, it's like a miracle. It, it is a miracle. Okay. Right. Good. I, I guess this is something that we're apparently doing now. Building is in the way. Angular connection is too sharp. Building is in the way. Oh, no. Video game, I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard to make this work. This is supposed to be, this is supposed to be all about, you know, the shenanigans of, the shenanigans of, uh, of doing a, of doing a thing about chemicals. It ain't about, oh my goodness, it works. Come on, come on. In there, go, go in, go in, go in, go in. Too sharp of a turn, crossing not allowed. Oh, video game! <laughs> oh, no. Okay, all right. Well, you know what? L let's just assume that there's never going to be a fire at this at this harbor ever. Right? Okay? It's it, it, an ambitious, an ambitious belief, but I'll take it. I'll flip and take it. All right, so let's get everything built around here. And then let's just hope. I'm going to say only store coal. Excellent. I'm also going to make sure that just whilst I'm here... Uh, yeah, so the fuel fuel is not uh, is not being delivered here, which is a bit of a problem, but you know that's fine. We've got one Hercules, which is currently en route. You are already set to load 100% of gravel, which is great. I just want to make sure that we're not going to unload gravel into coal storage and coal into gravel storage. That would be pretty darn bad, actually. In fact, very very flipping bad. Well, it actually wouldn't be that bad. That's a significant over over badification. Right, so, 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 that's pretty much everything ready to rock and roll. We're pretty much ready to start delivering refined coal, which we have, which we have over here. Right, so I will go down to this distribution office. You're delivering gravel. I built three distribution offices. Yeah, I only used two of them. So that is an immense amount of, of forward planning on my behalf there. I mean, purely accidental, by the way, but that's fine. Right, what can I, what can I get? What's the, what's the best truck? The T the T eight one five does twelve tons. Anything else? I mean, sixteen tons still in the KMZ. Do we not have anything modified? That's fine. All right, just buy buy a hundred percent of these. Brilliant. We are going to fill up from here. We're going to load a hundred percent of coal ore. Storage percent is above zero. Excellent. 
and then we're going to head on down to the bottom and we're going to unload right over here and that is if storage is below 90 percent uh and i think it's going to test the storages of both the gravel and the coal uh the coal storages but that's totally fine all right so we should see this we should see this office immediately get to work and this is no doubt going to put further strain on our coal supply but let's be let's be real that that's been happening throughout the entirety of the game and you know last episode i did try and focus on getting a whole bunch of brand new trains uh brand new bunch of supply trains and i think it's i think it's for the most part uh, it seems to be working seems to be working and there's actually two trains that are unloading coal ore on the aggregate unloading right now so it would be kind of good to move these trains on as quickly as we possibly can and therefore by moving some dumpers to, to pick up some refined coal we're actually helping okay so that is the first part of the puzzle the second part of the puzzle oh we just missed the the frida being launched well it's a good thing it's a good thing that uh that we saw it because we're about to copy this all right we'll tell you to go to tell you to go to there and then we're going to copy the schedule onto you and then we're going to say don't go there we're going to say go to kobe instead easy peasy lemon squeezy right so after that we are going to immediately immediately buy some hercules boats so these boats actually cost basically nothing 1.2 million basically nothing i love how i can say that now i love how i love how that's a thing that can definitely be said because my financial situation is uh is is such that it allows me to do just that right so very very simple setup load 100 percent uh, do I want to wait until loaded? Not particularly, but I do want to wait until unloaded. Well, actually, do I want to wait until unloaded? I probably don't, because otherwise there's going to be uh, there's going to be uh, a bit of a bit of congestion because this needs to be shared with both gravel and coal boats. So that's fine. All right, let's get that Hercules launched. Brilliant, and then we're literally just going to copy the copy the load over onto this one. And we're going to get that loaded and uh, ready to rock and roll as well, which is great. Cool. Very, very cool indeed. And that still leaves me with 8 million rubles in the bank. Wonderful. Right. So we should be expecting our first delivery of coal fairly soon. Fairly, fairly, fairly soon. Here we are. Yes, indeed. 16 tons of the very best coal. We've got a full storage over there. Not like it particularly matters because this uh, this aggregate loading doesn't actually draw from the storage. It draws from all of the all of the different processing plants, which is good because it actually means that we use the resource that is waiting on the aggregate unloading before we use the resource in storage, which is quite nice. Very very nice, in fact. Uh, we're still missing a whole bunch of iron ore. Now that is not good. That is not good at all. Any way that we can fix that? I don't really think so. Hmm. Operating without issue here. That's real good. Our Kestrel is actually... Look at that. Three different trains. That actually looks quite nice. That actually looks very, very nice. That is... That is looking real fancy. Well, you know what? This this might be the first time that it, it actually thought it looks uh, quite good. Also, we're completely out of steel now. We are completely, completely, completely out of steel, which has got to mean that we've delivered a significant amount of it to the to the palace. I say that we've delivered a fair amount of it to the palace, but we still need we still need another 500 tons. That's quite a lot, and that's only this phase. So, uh, I mean, I did say that steel was one of the resources that I was worried about, but I wasn't like overly worried about it. But as it turns out. You know, I did have I did have cause to worry. Have we got resources on the back of this truck? We do not. That's a bit of a bummer. That's a problem. That is a problem. Okay, well, no matter. That's that's fine. We will we'll be done with this whenever we're done with this, and we'll just have to rely on we'll just have to rely on our hard workers building as much steel as they possibly can or making as much steel as they possibly can over the next wee while. We've got rather a lot of... Why have you got an iron... Why are you coming here? What the heck? Iron ore. I don't want you being here. This is this is not where you should be. Coal ore? No. 
Iron Ore, why are you coming this way? Hmm, that's very not good. Let me just try disconnecting this railway here. Yeah, try disconnecting that railway. Yeah, you've got iron ore. Yeah, you'll be totally fine. We want people to take the tunnels. We don't want we don't want the ore trains to uh, to, to congest this line as well. That's that's really not good. Very very not good. So hopefully that will fix the situation. What have you got? You've got iron. Excellent. So that should be a reasonably quick unloading job. Cool. All right, so here comes the coal. That's great. That's wonderful. Coal's going to be unloaded. Uh, where do my Hercules boats go? Oh, yeah, they need to turn around come back. Turn around, come back. Turn around, come back. It's going to take them like 10 minutes to turn around and come back because they can't figure out how the heck that works. Turning is not their, is not their specialty, unfortunately. But hey-ho. Also, you know what I could do? You know what I could do to speed up this whole... To speed up this whole shebang. There we go. Just get a little bit of a little bit of additional road, you know, turned into not garbage dirt road. I.e. asphalt road. Have you got chemicals on you? You don't have chemicals on you. Have we have we got chemicals back here? We probably have a couple. Wow, we don't even have any? We don't even have any? Are you telling me that we don't have any? There was definitely there's definitely a boat coming. Is this the boat that's got chemicals on? Okay, this is the boat that's got chemicals on. It just hasn't done the delivery yet. Fine. All right, so here comes the coal. Let's get the coal loaded into the storage. So we don't need, like, tons and tons and tons of coal, but we do need a lot of coal in order to in order to make in order to make both of the greenhouses work. That's a little bit of an oxymoron, by the way. I realized I realized as soon as I've said it, but, you know, there, there's a big contrast between needing tons of coal and then claiming that I don't need tons of coal. What I basically need to say is that I do need tons of coal, but I don't need... I don't need a tremendous amount of coal, but I do need tons of coal. It's the best way of phrasing it. Okay, so what is this? 108 tons, probably 120, maybe 140, yeah, 160. Okay, a good amount... A good amount of coal is ready to rock and roll. Excellent. And that's going to presumably be split across two boats. Yep, it will indeed. Both of these boats are... Ex what the heck? What the heck did you do? Okay, one of these boats is going to be on wait until unloaded, uh, wait until loaded, because that was just a terrible, terrible miscarriage of, uh, of justice there. What the heck was this? Only loaded like 44 tons up. I bet you it was a power shortage. I bet you it was a power shortage. We didn't have the power wattage coming out in order to sustain continual continuous flow of uh, of of power to the to the conveyors at the aggregate loading either way it doesn't particularly matter i've set one of the boats to come back so one of the boats is going to go and come back i'm just going to stick around to watch this Volgobalt come into the harbor because it's pretty darn important that we get these chemicals unloaded as swiftly as we possibly can also these two trucks which we've got just chilling here they don't actually need to do anything they can just disappear we'll just get rid of them because we've already got a distribution office linked up to do the fuel supply over here, which is totally fine. Right, come on, Volgobalt. Let's let's watch you, let's watch watch you dock. We got a lot of Volgobalts actually, and each of them are carrying yeah a varying degree of chemicals. This one's carrying the one at the front of the pack is carrying sixty tons. The one at the back of the pack is carrying three point two tons of chemicals. So you know a uh, you know a decent amount, decent 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 amount. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to unload it all into the into the warehouse, nice and easy, and then we're going to wait for the train to come and pick up the resources, and then the train is going to shoot back to the other the other end of the track and drop off the resources, and then it's going to come back and yada yada yada. That's going to be that's going to be chemicals, that's going to be plastics, the whole shebang. It's the worst. It's the worst event in the world. That needs to be a chain signal. I am so glad that that ended up happening. Right, wonderful. Excellent. 
The people haven't even despawned on the, the workers train behind there. Fine. Okay, we unloaded you. You have, in fact, completely unloaded. Oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely exceptional. That's great. You're not on wait until unloaded, though, so that could be somewhat of a problem. How many resources do you have on you right now? Uh, you're probably going to be fine. You're probably going to be fine. All right, great. Train is going to pick up the chemicals and the plastics. Are you going to be able to fit them all in? Maybe, maybe not. Probably, no. You're not able to. You're not able to. That's totally fine, though. The resources should be coming in thick and fast now, and that's the important thing, right? So you're going to head all the way back to Potato Grad, and you're going to give me this whole new lease of electrical component production. That is what's going to happen. Mark my words, folks. It's going to happen. It's going to happen before our very eyes right now. Also, we're in the middle of 1991 right now, which is which is kind of exciting. Very exciting, in fact. Heading towards December of 91. Are we going to have the palace done for then? That's the real question, isn't it? Okay. You still have 20 tons of chemicals on you. I feel like I should wait until unloaded, to be honest, on you. Turn around. Yeah, let's wait until unloaded on this one, because it's not going to take very long at all to get to get this train completely unloaded. Okay. So we got chemicals. Chemicals are going to get picked up, snatched away from the house, uh, the warehouse, almost immediately. Okay, so that's looking good. That's looking that's looking reasonably good. I will return to increasing chemical production in just a second. I just want to make sure that this is all working smoothly. You know, it's like a it's like an AI, you know? It's like an AI. It's like the YouTube search algorithm. You know, the distribution setup over over in industry grad slash potato grad. You know, it's it's evolved to such a point where it started making its own rules. I don't actually understand what's happening. You know, a programmer can look at the AI's programming, but it doesn't make any sense. That's what's happening here. I, I I have no idea what's happening, but it all seems to be working. It does seem to mostly be working. Uh, we got plenty of plastic, a little bit of chemical. Yeah, it looks like, actually, yeah, electrical components are indeed being manufactured, which is really, really important because we need them. All right, what do we got going on over here? That is definitely going to be extinguishable, which is great. Very, very happy with that. Uh, cool. All right. Well, we needed to come back down this way anyway. So, have we got any coal yet? Have we got any coal? Ow! We just had we just had our our first our first delivery of coal. Wonderful. Eleven whole tons of coal. Man, these boats really fly, don't they? They really really flip and fly. All right. Cool. 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 Let's get uh, let's get a power supply out here to make sure that we can operate the uh, the aggregate loading. Very very important. Yep, and yep, and yeah, we'll connect it up over there, cool, and that connects up over there, excellent, bada bim, bada boom, build that, build this too, I'm just assuming that there's going to be enough power in this system, it probably will be to be fair, I'm not too worried about it. Right, do we have any dump trucks over here in a in a distribution office? We don't have any dumper truck capable distribution offices, which is fine because I was I was getting I was getting some withdrawal symptoms from not building a distribution office, you know, in 10 minutes. Frankly, the fact that we've got a gazillion distribution offices over here is no deterrent for building more. I'm quite happy to build as many as I need to. In my humble opinion, building more distribution offices the better. They're just so good. They're just so good. Tell me that they are not the best, the best thing about this update. I mean, the nuclear, the nuclear supply chain, that's cool and all, right? But distribution offices, really? Can you argue that they're not the best thing? I don't think you can, because they are clearly, very clearly, the best thing. Right, dumpers, let's get some KMZ, etc, etc, etc. There we go, excellent. We could, of course... See if there's a mass equivalent. I think there is, but we, but we're not producing it in large enough quantities quite yet. Okay, so that's the pickup point, and then the drop-off point here, and here. Yeah, literally that simple. So aggregate loading is the load point. The unload point is the chemgrad small aggregate storage, and the other small aggregate storage as well. 
cool. Very, very cool indeed. I'm I'm happy with that. I'm fine with the, you know, the existing the existing setup where where other dump trucks just, you know, come and deliver come and deliver resources directly from directly from Potato Grad. I showed you I showed you the setup that we had uh, earlier. Yeah, there's no there's no particular rush to do that. Coal, coal, coal. Yeah, so does this work? Uh, it should work, but I bet you it's an issue... I bet you it's an issue with this aggregate storage not having enough coal to fill a single truck. Which is a bit of a bummer, to be honest. A bit of a bummer, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Alright, another fire. Small distribution office in, in coal. Literally right next to the fire station. That's the best type of fire. That's the best type of fire. That We love those types of fires around here. Also, I've got so many dumper trucks just waiting around in uh, in Kolgradsky. I really should have moved a couple of them. I should have moved a couple of them across, but that, that doesn't particularly matter anymore. It's it's all A-OK. -okay. Right, you are a coal ore train, I would I believe, right? Because you shouldn't be here. Nobody should be using this bit of track. It should be it should be completely unused, this this central section of track here. Yeah. That's not good. Again, leads me to believe that maybe we're slightly over capacity on, on our line. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see exactly what happens. I've made I've you know, I've made that amendment where I removed that little that little section of track right there. I think that should mean that uh, it all works just a little bit more smoothly. Again, gravel trains shouldn't be here. We shouldn't have any gravel trains here. We should have no gravel trains. How how did a gravel train get here? So yeah, you're doing iron ore. You're going to go straight up there. Excellent. I can't help but feel that it might be a fuel issue. It might be a fuel issue because they might path to try and get uh, to try and get a little bit of extra fuel. I don't know where they'd get their extra fuel though, but whatever. Yeah, we'll see if that uh, we'll see if that is indeed the case. Anyway, so how are we doing? How are we doing over here? How are we doing over here? What do we got? Two hundred and forty tons. Okay, so we've actually delivered sixty tons of electronic components since the beginning of this episode. It's actually not terrible. That's actually not bad at all. Just one hundred and twenty tons of steel left, which is which is practically nothing. Actually, practically nothing. We've got three more trucks, which may or may not be carrying. Nope, apparently not carrying electronic components. Oh, we're carrying very, very small amounts of electronic components. But we are making them. We are actually making them. Right, I'm actually going to decrease the number of people that can work in my electronics assembly hall. Because I don't really care about electronics right now. It's not a priority. And in fact, I'd wager that we probably have... Yeah, we've already got like 12 tons of, uh, of electronics there. So that's good. Fine. Yeah, that'll be easily, easily extinguished. Great. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna focus all of our energies right now on building electronic components, and we just need plastics. We just need chemicals. We need them both. Do we have either of them? We don't have chemicals. We still do not have chemicals. Okay. Well, we can do something about that. We can and we will do something about that. Let's head back down over here. Oh my goodness! I completely forgot that we do actually have a a building capability. So we could build this greenhouse entirely in-house, so to speak, but I mean, I'm not that inclined to do that. I guess I'm content just to watch a couple of deliveries come in. Uh, it is pretty important, though, that we get this that we get this coal delivered. Is this the Hercules? The Hercules delivering coal? 2.2 tons of coal. Excuse me? Where where is my where is my Hercules? Oh, of course, you're on wait until wait until loaded, aren't you? Okay, well, you know what? Go move to the stop. Go move to the other stop. We'll deal with that later. Goodness gracious me. When you look at the Palace of Soviet in the background, it really does lag the game to a tremendous degree. All right, you know what? This is good. We're making good progress. I should have noted, right, at the start of the episode, we're about 50% of the way there. We're about 50% of the way there. And to be honest, we built it a heck of a lot quicker than I was originally anticipating. You know, we really, really have. That is uh, that is quite incredible. Ooh, also, something which I should have also considered is we've got... We've got the capability to move some 
to move some uh, electronic components back. We've got 90 tons of these things just uh, just waiting around. So, how is the best way of going about doing this? To be honest, can I just get you to... Can I just get you to go here? Unload 100% of anything. Is it possible for you to get to there? Uh, if I put a signal in there, yeah, if I put a signal in there, I think we can actually do this. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, go, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Oh, you idiot potato. You idiot. You idiot. You idiot. Right. This needs to be a chain signal in there. Oh, it's it's so bad, isn't it? It's so bad. It's so darned irritating. I, I, I could see it happening in real time in front of my face. Uh, but basically, what I want to do is I want to set up a little route where we just take all the resources from here over to here, and then that'll just sort of make the whole system work. Uh, but of course, I've gone and doofed it up by doing by doing something daft. Uh, just go to Shipsky Warehouse, eh? Just go to Shipsky Warehouse right now. There we go. Now that I've got a chain signal in here, it should work. It should work just fine. All right now, you go here, and then we want to say load, load and unload. Actually, just load at Shipsky Warehouse at the moment. I'll need to remember to change that back. And supposedly we've got power supply issues. What? Power supply issues? Why is that happening? Okay, I mean, that should not be happening at all. Uh, but it may just be a capacity issue. What I am going to do, just as a backup, I'm going to try and supply power directly. I don't know if I have two medium voltage power cables running to that building. I mean, is that going to make the building crash? Is that going to make the, the game crash? Or is it going to be able to supply more power? It looks like it's able to supply more power, which is great news. Which is really, really good news. Okay, that's great. That seems to that seems to work very, very well. So I'm gonna keep a very, very close eye on this train. So unload mechanical components here. We are gonna we are gonna have a little bit of an oversupply of mechanical components for a little while, but I think that that's something that I'm totally content to live with. So we're just gonna keep a very, very close eye on this train, and we will manually watch exactly what happens. So we're gonna just get you to go back to Shipsky Warehouse now. That's right. There we go. And you're going to load up with all of the electronic components that we need. And also a couple of mechanical components, apparently. It's fine too, I guess. There we go. Excellent. And then you're going to head back to Shipsky Warehouse. And you're going to unload 100% of anything. Or everything, I should say. All right. And you're going to stay put right now. Huge construction office. Okay, it's probably fine if it's in Oilnovsky. I imagine. Right, so you're going to load up with the mechanical components. You're going to drive them back. Do we have a Do we have a capacity to unload mechanical components at the other end? I don't actually know. Fire extinguished. Great. Train platform in Chemgrad. Okay, great. Oh, we totally do. We totally do. Yeah. Except it's not working. Except it's not working. Oh, I think this is a bug. This is definitely a bug. Video game. I am very unhappy with this. This is this is not good. This is not a this is not a cool thing to do. This is not a cool thing to do at all. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. No fire trucks coming to deal with the fire. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna sell all these sell all these trucks. Maybe a risky maneuver, and then I'm going to rebuy a whole bunch of a whole bunch of trucks. Is that going to make any difference? Apparently, it's going to make no difference whatsoever. It says that there's a vehicle moving on it. However, I can guarantee you that there is no vehicle moving on this right now. Uh, right. Well, that's kind of nonsense. If that's the case. That is that is real nonsense. 
Is there anything that I really care about in this in this office? I mean, there are a whole bunch of there are a whole bunch of these bad boys. The mixers. Which I guess I can move across. Maybe before maybe before the thing implodes. I mean, we can try. We can we can try moving a couple across. Right. Will they move? Doesn't look like they're going to move. All right, so I guess we're just going to lose absolutely every single... Oh, boy. It's probably fine if it's an oil Novsky. See, this is why this is why I wanted to make sure that this structure was was all set up properly. Otherwise, we're always going to we're always going to run into fire related issues. Okay, 89 tons of mechanical components. We're, we're ready to rock and roll. So you are unloading mechanical components. You have got plastic which is ready to go. Can I get you to turn around and actually just go to this depot? Yeah, just chill out in this depot for a little bit, please. Train. Because I do not want to... I do not want to use plastic. I, okay, so mechanical components. Mechanical components, we have a serious oversupply of things. It's, it's kind of irritating, actually. Because uh, we need to find some way to get rid of them. And there is no way that I know that won't get rid of... That won't get rid of everything else. Uh, okay, we, I mean, we could head back to Shipsky Warehouse and pick up the... Yeah, I guess we'll just head back to Shipsky Warehouse and see if we can pick up the electronic components and then run them back over here. That's fine too, I guess. We've got a couple of plastics as well. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Okay, but that's our micromanaging pretty much done. As far as I'm aware. So that is that. Is that. Right, how are we doing power-wise? We're doing very, very well power-wise. It looks like a direct connection between the uh, between the nuclear reactor and the cable uh, on the... I don't know, what is, what is, what is the railroad connection? Sure, the thing that's providing the power. Looks like that worked out not too badly. Right, let's zip back to the other side of the world, see what the situation is over here. Are we drawing down on our coal reserves? We are indeed. We're moving a whole bunch of coal over here, which is which is real, real good. This definitely needs to be a a bridge, but that's fine. We're still making chemicals. That's real good. Let's get this built. We've managed to reduce the cost of production by about 200,000 rubles. So good job. Good job trucks that are currently working around there, working around the clock to build, to build the greenhouse. That's looking good. Okay, and now, the real moment of truth coming right up. Are we able to directly connect? Are we able to directly connect this area to the greenhouse? I don't think we are going to be able to do that. So I think we may have to get a bus stop. Which is a little bit lame. And by a little bit lame, I mean it's very lame. Because I don't really want to get a bus stop. Uh, but we'll just get a we'll just get a simple bus set up to bus people around, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll get the IKR two five six. We'll get four of them, and we'll just go here. Ah, okay. We can't actually pick up directly from the house, mostly because I suspect that there is no uh, there is no there's no parking space outside the front. Okay, next question. Is there any circumstance in which this is going to be walkable? I mean... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well. Don't love this. Don't love this setup, to be honest. Don't, don't love it. Don't love it at all. Okay, you know what? Let's let's just do a, a janky little setup over here. We'll just get a simple little bus stop. Right, just build that. Okay, we'll get the IKRs to run between here and there. Literally that simple. And we'll just copy and paste all of the orders onto there. Go, 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 go. Will we see anyone arrive at the bus stop anyone wait at the bus stop building is without a power supply i mean that's just not a great sign just at all frankly but 
then again, it does look like it doesn't have any power supply issues, so there we go. There we go, excellent. Will this supply any workers, or are we going to have to completely recalibrate everything? One singular worker. Great, one singular worker. Love to see it. You'll love to see it. I really didn't want to put that much thought into this into this setup, as you can probably tell. Is it abundantly obvious that I really didn't want to put that much thought into this setup? It probably is, isn't it? I just wanted it to work. I just wanted it to work. Is that is that too much to ask for, video game? Is that too much to ask for? Oh, look. We're almost done with the university. That's kind of nice, isn't it? That's real nice. Okay, so we should be ready to rock and roll, right? We should be ready to rock and roll buildings without a power supply. I mean, I was under the impression that there was a power connection. Okay, apparently there's not a power connection. Somewhat surprising. Surprising, uh, because I thought I built it with a power connection in mind, but oh, okay, all right. That is what it is, right? That is what it is. Okay, ditch that in there. And ditch. Ditch is the wrong term. All right. Building is in the way. I categorically assure you there's no building in the way, but that's fine. Uh, there's a fire bus platform uh, in Novaya Ironski. That should be fine, right? That should be totally fine. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Easily extinguished. Excellent. Uh, it looks like our train network is a little bit chock a blocker at the moment. And why is that the problem? Is it a problem with the gravel area? It's a problem with the gravel area. Yeah, we got too many gravel trains, really. We got too many gravel trains. Okay, so let's say you don't wait until unloaded. You don't wait until unloaded either. Uh, we're going to just need to make sure that a lot more of these trains have uh, have no, no waiting time. Because if we do have waiting time, then there's going to be a problem there pretty much forever. What the heck is this? How the heck did this happen? This is a freakish, freakish event. I have absolutely no idea how my entire rail network and my entire road network has managed to get jammed up. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay. Also, why the heck does this even exist as a as a crossing anymore? Like this this is just not a thing that should be around here. We don't need we don't need any tracks that roll roll up this way. Yeah. There we go. Ditch that. Straight through. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, I I do have a lot of trains. I do have a lot of trains operating here. That's that's not really an excuse for why this has all gone so dramatically badly wrong, but you know, it at least explains somewhat. So you... You go to the sawmill. How about that? Will that make any difference? Is the entire problem the fact that our woodcutting post is just... Is just blocking everything? I think it is. I think it literally is. It was literally the woodcutting post this whole time that was blocking absolutely everything. That's quite bonkers, actually. That's quite bonkers. Right, okay, don't put you on wait until unloaded then. You can just head back out. To be honest, there are... Yeah, so this truck is currently doing bespoke deliveries. I'm gonna sell you. We only need one singular Maz truck. We only need one tr Maz truck delivering boards. Like, that's... That's it. Uh, everything else has sort of freed itself now, which is great. We need 157 tons of, uh, of electronic components. That's not too difficult to do at all. We got electronic components over here? No, presumably because they were already unloaded into the into the network and then distributed to the uh, distributed to the thing on Bobber. We got 64 tons waiting here, actually. So we do still have electronic components waiting. But we need to find some way of offloading these flippin' mechanical components. 
How am I going to get rid of them? How am I going to get rid of these mechanical components? We just got so many of them. We have we have too many of them. We cannot export mechanical components. It's it's bonkers actually. Uh, okay, here's an idea. Here's an idea. We're gonna do we're gonna do another distribution office. Why do we need to do another distribution office? Mostly because I don't understand my current distribution office setup, and therefore, if I get another distribution office, it kind of makes me forget that I've messed up distribution offices so badly. To be fair to myself, it's not my fault. It's not my fault that the distribution offices are so unbelievably garbage. It's because the game updated halfway through and added this additional storage percent functionality. And, you know, it used to be that you were only able to, like, load or unload from a specific source, but now you can load and unload. So, you know, basically just reconfigures your, your, entire, your entire setup. Uh, and that's what happened with me. So I'm going to do... I'm going to say here, here, here... Right, so, unload at the warehouse, uh, load over here, storage percent is above, like, 50, sure. Nuclear grad road cargo station, which is this one here, I'm going to say load electronic components if storage is above X percent, and storage percent, if it's below 90, you can operate, load if it's above... If it's above 60, I'm going to say sell them and sell them at the border. There we go. Unload electronic components. So literally, only electronic components should be should be utilized here. Cool. All right, so we should be able to move them from here, which is the main thing because we're going to get them we're going to get them off this flipping train and we're going to allow the train to do to do uh, to do transport of the electronic components back from Shipsky back to here, because that's what we need. In saying that, though, the fact that we've still got another 60 tons of, of electronic components, sort of dry powder, so to speak, that's really good. That's really, really good. But it has really highlighted that electronic component manufacturing is going to be the most difficult thing to do here. Yeah, by a wide margin. Also, you you can now be set on wait until I'm loaded. I'm fine with just you hanging around over there. That's That's totally okay. Right, have we cleared up our, our traffic jam? I think we have. I think we have. We don't even have a traffic jam over here. It's loading iron. That's great. Are we still manufacturing steel? Yeah, we're still manufacturing steel at both of our steel mills at a fairly appreciable rate. And, you know, we do get we do get a lot of steel. We do make a lot of steel. We are we are doing a fairly good job on that front. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Mechanical components were almost fully unloaded. That's great. Oh, that's so good. That's so, 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 so good. And once this is all unloaded, we can head right the way back and sort it out. All right. I maybe shouldn't have put this on such a key route here. Yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, this maybe wasn't a great idea in hindsight. Hindsight is twenty twenty, as they say. And also the fact that we didn't do this via a, you know, a, a terminal, a road cargo station, is, is a bit of a problem. I think I should probably rectify that, shouldn't I? I think I should probably rectify that. Right. Fix that up. Give me a road cargo station right over here. There we go, and then we are going to change the nuclear grad warehouse, change it over here. It's going to be load and unload. Storage percent is above 60. Unload percent is above 90. And then we just ditch the nuclear wear grad. The nuclear wear grad? The nuclear warehouse connection. Nuclear grad warehouse connection. Okay, it's probably going to take the trucks just a second to reconfigure. Uh, I did say that they should only pick up mechanical components, but it looks like one truck didn't get the memo. So we ended up with four tons of plastic. Totally okay. Honestly, plastic is one of those resources that we've got in reasonable abundance as well, so, so that's fine too. Yeah, so once these trucks have all gone through the process, once they've all reset, then we should be back to we should be back to normal. Great, 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 great. We are doing totally fine for nuclear materials. We're, in fact, doing very, very well 
We cannot store or export nuclear fuel. Yeah, I don't really want to change this. I don't really want to change this. I know I could be even wealthier if indeed I wanted to sell the nuclear fuel output from these two, uh, from these two plants here. At the moment, these two plants are devoted solely to producing, you know, nuclear fuel for for this reactor here. But I don't really want to faff around with the reactor too, 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 too much, because if I do then, you know, we might just have issues, and I, I don't really, I don't really want to deal with that. I don't really want to have issues. I don't, I don't want to deal with that at all. Okay, looks like the mechanical component situation has been entirely rectified, which is great. How are we doing? Electronic components are coming along nicely. 136 tons left. What have you got? You've got nothing. You've got nothing. That's fine. Look, we're, we're, we're coming along. We're coming along just fine. So, yes, 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 yes. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. We've got the electronic components. We've got the electronic components. They are presumably now making their way back into the, back into storage. And then from this storage point, they're going to be moved right on over to the palace, I believe, which is kind of great. 0 0.23 tons, nothing. I mean, that's, that's a step in the right direction, of course. That's, that's really, really good. We're, we're actually making... We're actually making stuff right now. Now, of course, I could have mentioned, I could have mentioned, I should have mentioned, there is, of course, the opportunity for me just to, you know, deliver the resources or, you know, buy the resources right from the border. You know, 6,285 rubles per ton. It's not, not a heck of a lot of money, really. I mean, it's the most expensive item here, I believe, uh, with the exception of electronics and clothes. Uh, but you know, it's a pretty pretty expensive item. I could afford to buy an electronic components from the from the border and just you know have them delivered right to right to the palace directly. Alternatively, I could just buy them in at any given warehouse. You know, what's to stop me from just saying purchase resources using rubles, uh, electronic components, buy? Well, I'll tell you what's stopping me. I'll tell you what's stopping me. It's the pride of knowing the fact that I've built a absolutely incredible monumental structure, literally, a literally monumental structure entirely using resources that were produced within the country you know this is this is the this is great you know the whole point of this glorious republic is is self-sufficiency and uh we're, we're we're getting there actually right i tell you what else i'm also i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna get this road upgraded so that we can deliver these electronics in style and in speed speedy speedy fashion sure so we can deliver these electronics in speedy fashion right this upgraded. Man, zooming in really does help the frame rate quite a lot. Whenever whenever you see the whenever you see the palace of the Soviets, it does slow down the game rather tremendously. Look, there we go again. And I'm afraid that that is almost unavoidable. There is nothing that can be done about that. It is such a glorious structure that it lets my computer know how glorious it is. Okay, look at that. 24 tons. 24 tons of electronic components ready to rock and roll. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. So it looks like it looks like the changes that we made did actually make a fairly significant difference. 5.4 tons of plastics. That's pretty good. It's going to be unloaded into here. Great. Oh yeah, this train. This train, yeah, that oh yeah, the train that used to be delivering to that warehouse has now been parked up in the depot. It's totally fine. Totally 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 fine. You are the prefab panel trucks. We're delivering chemicals, chemicals, and plastics. Right, no resources missing chemicals. Ah, yes, that's my that's my bad entirely. I should have I should have rectified that. Also, have we? Yeah, we've uncapped the number of workers that can work here. I'm not super happy with this with this bus system where we deliver people by bus. You know, delivering 12 workers by bus is pretty is pretty bad. Actually, pretty lame. Uh, but let's let's get the chemicals sorted anyway. So. You do this here too. Unload, yeah, and then we'll do this. And we'll add you there. So this is the distribution office that does chemical deliveries. And this is the distribution office that does uh, crop pickup. There we go. Load crops. Cool. Wonderful, 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 wonderful stuff. So we should see a chemical truck mobilizing to drop off chemicals at the greenhouse. It's not going to make a tremendous difference to our levels of production, but it's it's not terrible. Uh, we do need more grain production just in general. So 
we might even need an additional warehouse or an additional two warehouses to be honest because this figure this 13 ton figure is calibrated for 100 percent 100 percent employment and we don't have 100 percent employment especially not at both greenhouses and we kind of need to have 100 percent employment at both greenhouses right so you're loading up with chemicals and then you're taking the chemicals over here yeah we need we just need more chemicals just in general because we ain't we ain't got many chemicals at the moment. We ain't got many chemicals, but we should be able to start production of uh, of crops in the secondary greenhouse right now. There we go. It's not going to last forever, but it's at least going to make it's at least going to make things a little bit easier. Because chemicals is still one of those things that we really, 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 really do need more of. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'm going to cap plastic just a little bit further. Let's bring it right down to twenty five. Fact, let's bring it down to 20 people. I really think, you know, one-fifth one fifth of of production devoted to plastics is, is probably plentiful, to be to be honest. Probably plentiful. Yeah, we're doing okay with oil, fuel refining, etc. That's totally fine. I would maybe care more about putting additional people into the chemical plants if indeed we were able to output some more crops. But the fact of the matter is, is that we're just not able to. We're just not able to... We're just not able to do that. And I don't even think we've got... I don't even think we've got trucks coming from Grainsky anymore. Or if we do, it doesn't particularly matter because... Let's be real, right? Grainsky's... Grainsky's out of, out of crops itself. I mean, we are pouring so much effort and energy into... Uh, into food production. I mean, that is... It's 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 incredible. It's actually incredible how much how much resource is going into food production right now. And still it's not enough. This entire setup is not enough to provide is not enough to provide the food that we need. I mean this is this is a huge a huge empire, you know? It's a huge, huge republic. And we need a lot of food to sustain it, and we, we've got no food waiting on any of these fields. Well, apart from this one, it's three tons only. Wow. I, I'm so happy. I'm so happy with how this series has turned out. Honestly, even though there are massive food shortages, even though there are, you know, huge structures that are waiting to be built at the expense of, at the expense of people's lives, probably, and providing them food, I feel like that's all right. You know, that's a perfect trade-off. We'll build a big old, we'll build a big old statue whilst, uh, you know, most people can't get food. Totally, totally fine. Uh, anyway, on that really rather horrific note uh, we're going to finish this episode up code word for today chemicals chemical shortage that's right chemical shortage uh thank you as ever to my fantastic over the potato incorporated patreon supporters thanks also to banana nana and c senpai for being the 225 dollar plus tier patrons goodness gracious me folks it's happening we've moved from like 50 percent to like i don't know three fifths percent yeah, it, you know, construction of the Palace of Soviet. I'm really, really happy with how this is working out. A couple more electronic components in the next episode, and then we're going to be, I think, onto the final phase, or at least onto the penultimate phase. Anyway, you'll have to tune in to see that. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.